it's something I think a lot of people made a big build up towards. So I think uh, for me to just get out of the way and, and score that 50th goal was quite nice. Um, I've had a lot of nice reactions after and obviously really appreciate um, yeah, everything that's been said. 50 plus goals in just over three seasons. So do you ever stop and think, wow, that is, that is some achievement? Um, not really. Um, I think also like, yeah, I'm, I'm in form and I've showed it over the last uh, three seasons and I'm really happy I can help the club. Um, I also know that I can probably still be, be better than I am now. So um, I'd like to keep going and in five or six years look back and be like, yeah, that was an amazing time at Arsenal. I remember talking to you, it was about a year ago, we were at London Colney and you just a couple of days before scored four goals against Sparta Prague in the Champions League. And you turned around to me and said, for my form, I think I can play better. This season, you're scoring even more goals. How are you, how are you feeling about your form right now? Surely tell me, please, you're happy with your form. No, I am happy with it. Um, obviously, like the last couple of seasons, like to, to do the same thing over and over is obviously like hard to do. And I'm... Um, I'm happy and proud that I can, um, yeah, do those things uh, year in, year out. Um, but I also need to be realistic. Like, I'm 24 years old. Um, I probably still have a lot of years ahead of me. I know that I can still um, develop and become better in, in a couple of ways. And um, I'm excited to see wherever it's going to end. Biggest supporters is Ian Wright, obviously an Arsenal legend. How, have you, how has that sort of bond between you two developed and... Just how great is it to hear someone like him just effusively praising what you're achieving? No, it's really cool, obviously. I think, um, I think I've said it before, but I think it's really nice for like old professionals, current professionals, um, to have that bonding over football and that they're interested in women's football. And I think that shows where the game is going. And uh, obviously, like I've, I've met Ian an, a couple of times online now, and um, he talks a lot, but that's good because it's funny. Um, but no, nah, it's really, obviously, like, really good to, to have, co like, contact with, like, a club legend um, for someone like him to, to support the women's game and to support our team uh, is massive. And you see it happening more and more. And I think it's a really nice development in the yeah, roller coaster, cool. obviously, like, for everyone. Um, I've actually really, really enjoyed lockdown. Um, I loved having time to, to spend with my family, to do different things for once. Um, obviously, over the last 10 seasons, not really had much time off. And... Um, I think it kind of made me rethink what you want to get out of football. And um, I think after the first three months, I was like, oh, I'm not really missing it. It's fine. Like, we'll see how it goes. And then obviously, once you got closer to actually coming back, you got really excited. And um, yeah, me being on the pitch right now, like, I feel like I'm a different person. I feel like I can enjoy it more. Um, and I think it's only helped me to, to become a better player now. Um, I definitely don't want to go in a second proper lockdown as an athlete. Um, but yeah, the time off is really nice to reflect on a lot of things because there's been so many things happening the last couple of years and I definitely felt like I've benefited from it. Is that one thing that you worry about though? Obviously, you know, this lockdown could be extended. We've seen the FA Cup kind of delayed because of, because of it. Is that one thing that you and, and the players have sort of got, a, got an eye on? Like, oh, I really hope we can complete the season. I mean, obviously, like, you always have a, an eye on it. Um, but I'd like to think that as long as the Premier League, the men Premier League uh, keeps going, like, we'll keep going as well. Um, every single week after all the test results coming back, I think our league is doing amazing. I think all the girls are taking their responsibility. Um, it would definitely be nice to just finish off the league. And obviously, um, tough months are coming. Like, obviously, even for us right now, like, we get to go to training, we get to go and play games but it's still a different life around it like you don't have much um much else than football which can be quite absorbing sometimes but um yeah i hope we're going to finish the season and i hope everyone stays fit and healthy and if not then that's just the situation we're in right now